San Luis Obispo County landed itself on the state's COVID-19 watch list. Now businesses have to heed to new closures announced by Governor Newsom today. KSBY's Megan Healy spoke with owners in different industries facing major setbacks yet again. She's live in San Luis Obispo with their reactions. Well, Karina, restaurant owners, bar owners, salon owners, they all tell me that this year has just been a roller coaster. One of the new developments today, indoor seating has to stop, but restaurants can still seat their customers outdoors in little parklets that we've been seeing in downtown San Luis Obispo. Still, these businesses tell me that they were just getting back to business. Now that feeling's being taken away. That's tonight. What am I supposed to tell these people they can't come in? Douglas McMillan scans his reservation list to cancel indoor dining plans. We have reservations for the next month out, so we're going to have to work diligently at calling them and say, hey, do you mind sitting in the parking lot once it gets permitted? Permits that would convert the parking lot of Ada's Fish House in Pismo Beach into an outdoor dining room. He and his team forced to adapt after Governor Gavin Newsom issued a statewide order Monday to close indoor dining, bars, breweries, wineries, movie theaters, family entertainment centers, and card rooms. We're lucky to get in when we could get in. <laughs> but insides of bars like Frog and Peach, empty for now. It's hard to be like you're always on a yo-yo string all the time, but it, it, there's nothing we can do about it. If that's what's going to be mandated, then that's what we, you know, we have to do, unfortunately. On top of those, a second round of closures for counties on the state's watch list, including fitness centers, worship services, protests, office for non-essential sectors, personal care services, and malls. While these industries aren't required to close immediately, Slow County officials say be prepared to. You don't know what to prepare for. You don't know if they're going to close us down again, or they're going to close us down for three months, or will it be three weeks? Health officials say the county has seen a rate of about 114 cases per 100,000 population, exceeding the state's 100 case threshold. We want everybody to be safe. We want everybody to be able to come back out and hopefully sooner than later. San Luis Obispo County public health officials have been putting out warnings for the last week that the county could end up at the state's watch list, but still many business owners tell me that hearing that official word today still didn't soften the blow. Reporting live in San Luis Obispo, I'm Megan Healy, KSBY News. Yeah, you have to feel for them. Thank you for that, Megan. San Luis Obispo County is still meeting other state metrics, including testing and hospitalization rates and the availability of hospital beds.